parents trust their children will arrive safely at school when they put them on a school bus each morning. Well, that isn't a guarantee. RTV6 anchor Jenna Coy joins us now with what we can do to keep our buses and our children safe. Jenna. Well, Erica, a leading company in school bus safety is located right here in Indiana in Westfield. IMMI officials say just one simple step can greatly increase safety, installing seatbelts. Just this afternoon, a school bus crashed on the northwest side of Indianapolis. Fortunately, this time, the students on the bus were not hurt. That's not always the case. If they're not belted, they're going to be in the aisle. They're going to flip over top of seats. James Johnson with IMMI in Westfield says seat belts on school buses, like the lap and shoulder belts his company designs, save lives. With a lap and shoulder belt, it, ens it ensures that you're in the proper position. The lap and shoulder belt does its job, and it reduces injuries, fi and, uh, injuries and fatalities by 50 percent. Indiana is one of the states that does not require seat belts on school buses. Johnson says money is the main hurdle. He hopes the demonstration will push school districts to hop on board the trend of installing safety belts on buses. Congresswoman Susan Brooks agrees. She noted school districts often struggle with budget woes, but says PTOs and school boards need to start talking about how to find the money to install lap and shoulder belts on buses. I think a lot of parents probably would say, and school board members and school administrators would say, we need to figure out how to make the safety of our kids a priority on these school buses. Johnson estimates installing lap and shoulder belts on large school buses would cost about seven to ten thousand dollars per bus. Jenna Coy, RTV6.